Spark the Genius here with Clarissa. Uh, Herrera. Yeah. Is that your last name? It's my last name. Okay. I was like, did I spell it? Did I pronounce Clarissa wrong? It's like, no. Clarissa, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Uh, Arela? Uh, Herrera. Herrera? Herrera. Herrera. All right, let me see how it's spelled. It's oh, it's, it's spelled Herrera. Yeah. Herrera. Sort of. Yeah. Herrera. No. Herrera. <laughs> Herrera. Yeah. Okay. Herrera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Not too bad. I just learned some Spanish, and um, so she is. Oh my gosh, you got you're working on lots of stuff. So you're studying animation in Ottawa, um, and you might be working in animation as well. And you've been showing your portfolio around, and, mm -hmm. and have, has that been fun here? It's been really fun. It's a it's a dream come true because uh, I was telling you before that. I was not feeling ready at all, and even if I just graduated from like another program, uh, I was I, I didn't feel confident at all. But uh, talking to all these recruiters, I was thinking maybe some bad comments will come out. Right, and then you'll be all demoralized. Oh my gosh, they yes, hate me. Yes, yeah. and now they boosted my ego too much. <laughs> <laughs> now you're like, oh, I don't need to be in school. I could be working anywhere. Exactly. I wish I just could just drop out now, but I can't. No. No, don't you know drop what? out. Yeah, well, I mean, you could drop out. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg dropped out of college. Yeah. He did all right. But I, you know, I realize that yeah, being in school is such a special thing. Like, it's, it's hard to go back. It's kind of like a once in a lifetime. Yeah. I mean, you can always go back, but, you know, while you're there now learning. Yeah. yeah but you're going to find a balance. Maybe you work as part-time as well, and then you'll be ready to, you know, you'll have work experience and school experience. So that sounds like a perfect mix. Yes, yes. I think every, uh, all the other students will be jealous of you. They'll be like, oh my gosh, you actually know what's going on in the industry. And Maybe, but like I always tell my classmates, because usually I remember when I was, um, I was like first year, and not, not here, but like in my old school. I would always compare myself to my other classmates that they were like 25 and they already went to another school before coming to like to the program mm -hmm. and I felt really bad about myself uh, but the moment I started seeing those classmates as like oh okay they're older than me they have more experience than me they're more like a, a goal to me rather than something to compare myself with yes, that's smart. yes. I, I was watching a life coach um, I think it was Dean Graciosi saying something like, you know, if you see people that are, you know, you feel like they're more successful or they've done better, don't don't feel bad about it. Go, you know what? If they could do it, that means I could do it. Like, look at it as a positive thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so the moment I changed my mindset, I remember I, I got a lot better. And also I asked the, those friends of mine for advice and it helped me a lot. And so that is the thing I tell my classmates. And I think... Uh, they they understand, I think. And also, I, I, I don't really brag that much, yeah. you know? It's not like I will go around and tell people, oh, I, I already graduated from this, or oh, look at the drawing it made, look how cool it is. It's not that I'm going around. If yeah. someone asks me what I do, yeah. or where did, did I study before, mm -hmm. okay, I will tell them. Right. But just like on a normal daily basis, it's not... Yeah, and I think that's probably a good idea. People don't want to feel like, oh, you're always showing off, or you're trying to... So, yeah. You know, it's like they'd write, just impress them with your work and they'll be like, oh my gosh, that's good. Oh, at the same time, you still want to be confident and, and honest about your stuff and be proud of what you've done. Because mm -hmm. didn't you go, what school did you say you went to before? Where, where was it? It's in, in Florence, Italy. Oh, yeah, okay. So I remember it was like a place that I was really impressed with. That just sounds amazing to be in Italy. Yes, it was, the school was named Nemo. Uh, Nemo? Nemo Academy, like the fish. Yeah, I was going to say Finding Nemo. But it's okay. actually based on like a pirate story, I think. Okay. Yeah, but it, um, it was a real good school, honestly. Yeah. Was it nice to live in Italy and like, you know, be eating the food and with all the beautiful people? The there? food and the coffee was great. The people, uh, I had trouble making friends. Like I had, I, I was really, I see that. yeah, I was really sad. <laughs> 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 I was really sad, I remember. I was like just focusing on school. Uh, and yes, I was actually really sad. Also because uh, people in Europe are kind of closed. And yeah, so, like like yes. Especially like maybe the Italians are like, oh, we don't want to know somebody from Honduras or whatever. <laughs> yes, uh, but at the third year, I, I got better. I got, I got my friends, but still it was a, a little bit lonely, I remember. So when I came here... Uh, it was nice because Canadians, like just like in the airport, I felt the difference. Uh, that's awesome. Yes. Like right away, people, strangers are talking to you or whatever. Yes, uh, and I feel like this is like my place in the world, so it's nice. That's great. Well, I mean, that's 
that's what I realized is the, the goal. And if you can feel happy where you are and feel like you're at home or whatever and, and be working on what you want to be doing and have friends and everything, that's so great. Have you made friends? Because I know you're volunteering at the festival as well. Have you? Has that been fun? Have you made friends here, like just you know, fellow volunteers or whatever? Yes, I have in my class. It was actually quite easy for me to make friends in my class. I made like some friends and it's funny because most of my friends oh, in my class in general is like international students. So I have friends from all around the world, and that is really nice. Oh, cool. No, I was yeah. saying, like, the volunteers at this festival. Yeah, I met, the, like, an Argentinian girl, and yes, that was interesting. All right. But no, that's great. So, yeah, so you were saying you made friends in your class, too, and all your classmates are friends, and they're, they're international people, so it's everybody's sort of learning Ottawa together. Mm-hmm, yes. Oh gosh, so much fun. Are they, are they here at the festival as well? Yes. Actually, one of my friends is was over there. <laughs> oh, right. You were, is that the one you were speaking Yeah, Spanish I was speaking to? Spanish to him. Uh, Where is she from? Colombia. Colombia, wow. Mm-hmm. So you've got this bond. You come all the way from your country and you can still speak Spanish to people. Yes, it's nice speaking like your mother tongue. So. Absolutely. This is so cool. So, uh-huh. Okay, so you're thinking, uh, you know, you'll see, maybe you'll wind up working in Ottawa, or you are for now, and then, you know, do you have a dream location, or, like, do you want to move to L.A. or something? I don't really want to move to LA. Like maybe if life takes me to LA, okay. Maybe. Got to work for Hollywood Studio if they demand it. Yeah. No. Um, for now, I just want to like stay in Ottawa, um, chill, like finish my studies, and slowly see where life takes me. You know. You've got so much going on now. I mean, you're in a beautiful city. You've got school. You've got your friends. You've got your job. You've got. You know, you're volunteering. I mean, why not just enjoy that and savor it and not be like, oh, i got to be somewhere else, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, I just want to find a place that I can call home, you yeah. know? And, um, yes, I just want to settle down, so... That makes sense, because I, I thought, oh, I want to be a digital nomad and stuff, but I realize it's hard if you're traveling around, you don't know where you're staying next, it's hard to feel connected, and to actually build... A, a life somewhere and, and make friends and have your coffee shop that you go to where you know the person you're you know, making the coffee like all that stuff it's a it's a beautiful thing cool well i'm glad you have figured it out and you're making it happen can i just ask quickly like what's your animation style or what kind of stuff do you like making uh-huh i do background arts okay. uh layout and color design so, yes. I was just talking to, and I'd never heard of background art until like an hour ago, and I was talking to the Algonquin teacher. Is that where you go? Yeah. Okay, what's the woman at the table there? Yeah. You know, I have no idea. Okay, well, she said she sort of teaches there, and she was saying a lot of people don't even know there's like four different types of background art. Or maybe that was somebody else who was telling me that today. I'm talking to this woman who's teaching coaching as well. Uh-huh. Maybe it was. But, uh, but yeah, there's like different kinds of, so yeah, I don't know. Is, have you found there's different kinds of it or what does that even mean? Background art? Um, That'd be like if a character's walking around and then you're painting the, the world they're walking through? Yes. Yeah. So like animation has a lot of branches, right? Yeah. Like it's not like when you study animation, you can go, there's so many options. Right. Even in like just the background aspect of yeah. animation has so many aspects. So for example, there's background design. So in, in films, there's vis dev. So there's a whole lot of thinking of designing the world. You have to design the shape language of the world. You have to design um, like the key of the world. You know what makes this world that world. Right. You know. Candy. Is it like a Batman world that's dark? Is it rainy? Is it? Yeah. Yes. Then there's a layout. So composition. Where to place things. Like if the camera is here, where will the character be? You know, where will this mountain be? Right. You know, it's not like you are going to draw a background and like, I like this flower, I'm going to put it in the middle. No. Right. No, no. Then there's um, the people that choose the colors, you know? Ca- characters, uh, the characters, uh, colors give, um, have a great power over people. Yeah, for sure. And I, I love colors. Me, I'm wearing the blue pants. So I, I I'm like, wearing blue pants. Check it out, yeah. Yes. So I, that is the thing I love about color. Like that is my favorite thing, yeah. because um, a movie can have a great story, a movie can have great animation, but like if the colors don't work, you don't really feel the connection, you know? Because if someone is sad and there's everything's like sunny, yeah. not you're not getting it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it, it could be a choice of right. like the director, but yeah. uh, everything invokes something. Like animation is just teamwork, you know? Yeah. So everything 
Yes. And then there's also background painting. Like, there's so many things to do. I love it. I think that's what the coach was telling me. Like, students wouldn't even know that there's so many different areas to go into, and so she's helping with that. So, yeah, I've met so many people here. And, and I noticed at the end of the recruiting talk today, um, were you at that talk with all the recruiters? No. no? Okay. I think they filmed it, so I, maybe they'll show it. I only show up for the last minute. And I saw, like, somebody ask a question, like, you know, as a writer, could I get into this field? Um, and, and one of them was like, yeah, like if you have stand-up comedy or script experience, you could find an animator whose work you like and say, hey, I, you know, I could write you a script and you could team up. So like maybe could I bring a script to you and you could help me animate it kind of thing? We could team up, that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Yes, right. definitely. Cool. I'll come up with some idea for you and uh, a funny character or something. Do you like doing comedy or drama? Or? You know, I never thought about that. I do more uh, light things, more for kids, more... Oh, yeah. Yeah, uplifting kind yeah. of things. Like, since I do just, like, background art, it's not that I can choose, like, a drama. Like, I can maybe choose, but it's not a thing that comes to my mind. Right, a more kind of, you, you know, find out the project you're working on, and, okay, I need to make a house, you know. Yeah, if someone tells me, okay, do a dramatic a house setting, okay, yeah. I will do it, but yeah. I don't really think about that. Okay. Uh-huh. All right, well, I'll come up with a fun, bright thing that, that like a girl in blue pants running around the world handing candy to people or something yeah. that's awesome cool well thank you so much and uh, and uh, yeah I guess uh, you have to leave today and I'll see you back here tomorrow hopefully and uh, maybe we'll work together and it's great to meet a creative person in Ottawa like you know in Toronto and stuff it's like there's a lot more especially in LA you know everybody's working in creative fields but in Ottawa you kind of have to really look for the people that aren't working for the government or for high tech so it's great to meet you you're part of Maybe we'll start like a creative community for Ottawa, like people who are working on creative things and we all get together and network and be like, oh, I'm working on films and I'm working on music. That'd be cool. See, I just keep coming up with ideas here. You're inspiring me. That's awesome. Well, thank you. I'll say uh, gra gracias. gracias. Uh, all right. See, some more Spanish for you. Okay, thanks. Bye.